special packaging stops moisture and oxygen getting in so bacteria can't grow. MREs have a shelf life of three years. But they're not exactly popular with the people who have to eat them. Hands down, worst MRE made is the veggie omelet. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like eating, a, I don't know, just wet, soggy cardboard is the best way I think you can describe it. I would rather not eat them as much as possible. So when the army went looking for ways to spruce up the menu, it wanted something that was quick to prepare and packed with nutrition. The solution was a surprise, a sandwich. But not any old sandwich. This one is capable of extreme preservation. Make a sandwich at home and it's soggy and stale in no time. The challenge for food scientist Michelle Richardson was finding a way to stop that happening. These are sandwiches that were uh, purchased at the local gas station. Um, I'm going to open up one so you can actually see what's going on inside. They're only three days old. Imagine what they'd be like after three years. There's a lot of moisture migration going on. As you can see, this bread is very wet and soggy, so it's not very appetizing. Um, and not only that, because the filling has a different amount of water than the bread, what happens is that the water migrates to the bread, which will result in um, an environment that will support the growth of bacteria. Bread and water is food and drink to bacteria. If you want a sandwich that can last for years, you've got to control the moisture content. Without water, bacteria cannot grow. But a dry sandwich isn't going to cut it with the troops. So Michel turned for inspiration to a traditional way of preserving food, jam making. As you can see, it's made from strawberries, and strawberries contain um, a lot of moisture. It can contain over 95% moisture, but um, ingredients were added, and what they do is that they bind the water so that you have a nice moist te texture with no free water. The sugar added to jam acts as what's called a humectant. It traps the water from the fruit inside the jam. That's why jam is moist enough to spread, but doesn't make the bread soggy. Crucially for the battle against decay, the water is also now locked away from the bacteria. The army's sandwiches deploy a whole range of ingredients that have these water-retaining properties. Honey, sugar and salt have all been enlisted. But that's not the only secret to this sandwich. To survive, most bacteria also need oxygen, so Michelle has come up with a clever way to remove that too. Inside here is a packet containing iron filings. Any oxygen inside the packaging will react with the iron filings and become trapped in a layer of rust. These two simple but ingenious solutions have combined to make a sandwich that's resistant to decay. But the ultimate test is whether anyone wants to eat them. Well, it's definitely the best two-year-old sandwich I've ever had. <laughs> there are a lot of new ones I've had too. I'm a big fan. I like the bread. Uh, the bread just makes it. It's definitely great, especially two years old. These sandwiches don't stay fresh forever. But if bacteria can be deprived of the moisture and oxygen they need to survive, decay can be kept at bay for a very long time.